Hello everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Face Plays Rebuild 3, Gangs of Deadsville. I am uh, going to stream this live and rip it from Twitch, so most of the episodes after this will just be fade-ins from the previous episodes. Uh, so I'm just going to start a new story. I've played a little bit, and uh, I have uh, just kind of gotten used to the game. So... March 3rd, 2016, the beginning of the end. So begins my new life in Seattle, Washington. Now for a fun day, waiting for the cable guy to come connect the internet. Don't we all just wait for the internet? Gotta have internet. I've got a couple TV channels, but all they're showing is news about the crazy biting disease in Amsterdam. Sounds like they finally got it contained. Guess I'll unpack, take a shower, and enjoy some me time. So we need to make our character. Uh, let's see... We could be a priest, leadership, church, more devout, uh, survivors, equipment is a megaphone. We could be a police officer. Uh, we start with a gun, defense, and plus one from all guns. Uh, building, 10% happiness. Uh, let's see, doctor, engineering, negative one days to injury, recovery. Uh, and that's a really weird bag because it actually gives engineering skill. That's a doctor's bag, I don't understand. Shop clerk plus scavenging and 25% better trades, which that, that actually may be quite nice. Uh, let's see, leadership, one extra survivor. Uh, top hat, I'm not actually sure what that top hat does. Gang member plus defense, no happiness, loss from death or injury. Um, construction worker plus building and half materials costs. Uh, start with a saw, I think that gets plus one defense, plus two build, or plus one build. Um, engineering, that's a college student. Schools and bars, 25% more effective. The school thing might be nice. I've never actually seen a calculator, so I don't know what that does. Um, I think the strongest one, honestly, is the, the hobo, because it gives plus five housing space. Uh, it's especially useful early game, uh, because early game is really when it matters, because you can easily get overwhelmed with uh, zombie mobs and things. And I am going to play on one of the higher difficulties. I could also do police officer. Um, I think I'll just do hobo because this is quite nice. The plus five housing space. And this is pretty much what I'm going to roll my character as. Maybe I'll change my uh, pants because those look kind of silly. Some cowboy boots and do shorts. Just plaid shorts or do shorts. Uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll go with this. That looks more like a scavenger. Everything else looks fine. Containment failed. The internet guy never came. Uh, this morning I woke up to what I thought were protesters outside, but I was wrong. So very, very, very wrong. They're fighting in the streets down there with their hands and teeth just tearing into people. I saw a cop shoot a woman in the chest covered in blood. She just got up and kept fighting. Zombies are here. March 5th, 2016. Rise of the Undead. On the news, they're telling us to stay indoors. They keep opening emergency shelters, but every time something goes wrong, and it turns into another bloodbath. This infection is spreading so fast, it's in Vancouver and San Francisco now, too. They've shut down the airports, but it's too late. It's too late. Many times, it's too late. March 16th, 26... Or, March 6th, 2016. Venturing outside, I ran out of ramen and soda about the time the TV cut out. It was finally quiet outside, so I took what survival gear I had and made my way out to the street. The last shelter they'd broadcast was ten blocks away at a boys' private school. I made it halfway before I was attacked. Bitten. It was so stupid, I don't know why I didn't have a weapon ready. I guess I thought I could outrun them. I mean, since they're zombies and all. But they're faster than they look. While I was struggling with one of, them, one of them, a soldier ran up and pulled it off me. He shot it in the head. That stopped it, but it was too late. I was bitten. Sergeant Hester, the hero. The soldier pulled me into a building and we waited there while the zombies wandered around outside. Then he saw my bite. He drew his gun and said he was going to make it quick. I knew what the bite meant. I had a day, maybe two to live, but I didn't want to die. I fought with him and the gun went off. I killed him. I killed a good man. He was trying to help and I killed him. 
So Long Seattle, May 31st, 2016. After Sergeant Hester's death, things got blurry. I slept beside his body, waiting for the fever to start, waiting to die, but it never came. I snuck my way out of town. I was worried there'd be some repercussion for killing a soldier, but everyone was too busy to care. I've been working my way east through the suburbs on foot, scavenging what I need and avoiding zombie and human alike. Diane Moon. It's been two years since the outbreak. This is uh, 2018, January 1st. I've been keeping to myself, moving from place to place. The few people I take up with seem to disappear or die before long, which is kind of typical of a zombie apocalypse. But I met this woman, Diane. She's different. She wants to stop running, to settle down and build something that'll last. I'm going to help her. Snoqualmie, March 2nd, 2018. Diane found us a small town up in the Cascade Mountains named Snoqualmie. I'm, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. Lots of food and supplies, few Zed. We found a couple other survivors and walled off a few city blocks to start. No more living in fear, hiding like animals. It's time to make a stand. It's time to rebuild. So this is where the game starts. So we're going to do it on challenging. I've played a little bit on normal, played a little bit on hard. I don't know enough about the game, I think, to do hard effectively. I think I can do challenging, so we'll try that. If not, we'll have to restart. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, Face. This town's seen better days. It's overrun by the undead. No power, no running water, no food except what we scavenge or grow ourselves. Drag the map. Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, the tips off uh, because I've already done it. So. Uh, what she's saying is you can drag the map. It just teaches you how to play the game. So we start with five survivors. One is us. There's a Diane. We have uh, a scavenger, which is yellow. Uh, the red means that they're, our, they're fighters. Uh, and the green is builders. So to capture cities, or capture city blocks, rather, uh, you have to clear the zombies out. As you can see, there's these green sections. These are uh, areas that we've already scouted. Uh, so we know that there are zombies inside. When you click it, it shows you something about the building, if it's a hospital or whatever. Uh, but then you also have, it, there's eight zombies inside, that's the green. Uh, and there are five resources that we could possibly scavenge. So, let's see what we've got in the area. It looks like we have two hospitals here and here. We also have a church, which is good for raising uh, happiness. And then everything else in this area, except for this farm, is really just like fluff buildings. They're, they're, they don't serve a purpose. Um, so let's see. So I think what we'll do is we're going to try to get this farm and this church and this hospital first. So we're going to clear them out. So we're going to send someone over here to neutralize the hidden zombies. And then once those are neutralized, we can actually build um, barricades and things and take them over as part of our fort. This is our fort, our five square fort. Uh, so I'm going to send this, so I'm going to send myself over here and clear the farm. And then probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to recruit this person. Uh, I'm also going to do some scouting. I think we'll go, let's see, there's some schools down here which could be useful. Uh, there's some housing up here. There's a workshop. So we're going to scout this direction so we can kind of expand our fort this way to get this workshop so we can have someone make bullets. Uh, and I'm actually going to turn it to uh, like turn-based mode. Uh, it seems really strange when it's on the clock because it constantly ticks down. But there's a lot of times when you're just like sitting here and you're like, okay, somebody finished something so I can do something. So I'm going to turn it on turn-based mode. Uh, it seems to help a lot when you... Uh, uh, of things to do, I guess, because as soon as you do this, see like that, you have you have things you can do. Uh, so we've scouted the workshop. She's still in, still killing zombies, so I'm gonna start killing zombies this direction as well. Uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna send him up here to help. So it looks like we have two survivors. We can't take both. 
uh, because we don't have a level 4 leader. Uh, I could hear these two fighting from a block away. Blah, blah, blah. When was the last time we've even had dishes to wash? Ah, roommates. Good news is they both want to join us. Bad news is each refuses to come if the other will be there. So we can pick. So we can pick An uh, Angel Manning or Eric Vade. Uh, one is a builder, one's a scavenger. I think we'll take the builder. So we'll go ahead and take Angel. Angel did jumping jacks in a victory dance. <laughs> Uh, that involves sticking your butt in Eric's face. Eric was furious at me for not choosing him and declared he was going to start his own fort somewhere in a better city that wasn't so full of idiots. <laughs> Wish him good luck with that. So now we have another builder. Uh, so what we're going to start doing is building some things here. There's a builder. Here he is. Uh, so we're, we're going to need to clear out around us because the more uh, zombies that are around us the more hordes that spawn and we definitely don't want to get overrun by hordes so we're gonna have to keep the area directly adjacent to us uh, somewhat clear uh, so I'm gonna start clearing down here uh, I'm actually gonna send her to scavenge yeah I don't know she's level one so it's hard for her to scavenge I'm actually going to send her over here to uh, help with that. So I think we will scout the tiles directly adjacent to us. Okay, there's already a horde. So we're going to put her here to defend it. Everyone seems to be busy. Here's another horde. So we have one horde attack, and there was 0% danger because we had a defender there. Uh, now we need to put another one here because that is yellow. Turn my volume down a little bit. Okay, so we have more stuff here. Let's get her scavenging because we're starting to run low on food. Uh, we are going to clear this out. Zed's numbers are no match for humanity's discipline. We get them head on and slice them into so many pieces. We make kind of a zombie slurry. So now we don't have to defend, so we're going to start clearing these areas out. And I'm actually going to leave him there for a turn. That'll kill some of the zombies here. There's only one zombie left, so I'm actually going to move him here because we don't want to get build up around our fort. So it looks, we, it looks like we've taken this area. Uh, the hospital. So there's one zombie here. She can handle it. So we're actually going to send her up here and her this way. Uh, we're going to have her take this area. Uh, Camille got a bit into a bit of an accident today. Uh, she found a rusted jeep that still had some gas left in the tank and decided to take it for a joyride. Her crash in the suburb was fairly spectacular. I'm still amazed she was able to walk away from it. The vehicle wasn't so lucky. The weird thing is the crash revealed this bricked up door we hadn't seen before. But I'd like to see uh, what's behind it. I could have sworn I heard something moving. Should we open it or seal it back up? Um, I think we're actually going to open it. This could get her injured or killed, but we're going to try it. Uh, anticlimactically to a musty old storeroom. A few cockroaches. It didn't look like anyone had been down there in months, if not years. What we did find were crates of canned goods, supplies, and ammo. This is good. Um, so we're going to get some food from that. Five food, three bullets, and two medicine, which is good. So let's see what we've got to do here. I think we're going to send her this direction. And I'm going to throw her... I'm going to have her take this, because as soon as one of these guys are done, I can switch them out. Uh, a funny little man with a caravan full of trade goods just pulled up. A uh, thick accent and an even thicker mustache. Uh, greetings, my friends. I am Gustav, peddler of the strange and exotic. I sell anything you can need, if you can afford it. Uh, so I'm not going to do that uh, voice longer, because uh, it was really silly.
Uh, if you want to think, uh, if you want a good deal, come to me at the suburb. We will make, how you say, good business transaction. Uh, so he is a traveling trader. It's very useful early because you can trade things for food. Uh, because that seems to be what you have the greatest lack of. So let's see what we can do. I think we will start scouting. Everybody else is busy. So we have a good start. The six of us are starting to see some progress here in Snoqualmie. We've reclaimed enough buildings that you can actually go for a little jog around the neighborhood. Think of that. Running for fun, not for your life. Exercise, recreation, spandex running shorts. These are the things we're looking forward to. I don't know about spandex running shorts, but alright. Okay, so we do have the farm available. So I'm going to switch him over here, and then I'm going to start scouting with her, since she's level 1. I'm going to go ahead and clear this building for the workshop. And I'm going to start clearing these buildings as well. As soon as she's done, she's going to go and take this hospital, probably. So we have two hospitals, which is really handy. Hey, Survivor arrives. A really, really goth large lady. We found a woman not far from our gates where she'd been hiding out from the zombies for days. We suggested her fort might be a bit safer than the garbage bin she was crouched inside when we found her. She seemed a little skeptical. Uh, let's invite her to stay. Diane Foster will be a welcome addition to our happy clan. She said she'd like to settle here for a while in Snoqualmie. The weather's nice, the walls look strong, and it beats running for your life alone in a city filled with the undead. Yes, it does. Ah, so she's a scavenger. Good. We did need another scavenger. Uh, so we do have a horde over here. Uh, well, it's actually mass zombies. It's not a horde. Uh, but it's bad enough. So everyone else seems busy. How many zombies are in this building? Two zombies. We'll let that tick for a minute. So she is free. We're going to have her start taking this building. And... I'm going to send her up here to help defend. I'm going to pull her out. Because I don't want zombie build up around our, our area. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to clear this. I need to scout. I need another person, like ASAP. Looks like we have a fight. They swarmed just after 2 a.m., not 10 minutes after I'd finally been able to get to sleep. But I was up there, or up and out there within five minutes, just like we drilled. And by dawn, all that was left of them were a pile of bloody body parts. So we had, it was 3% danger, and it was only Diane there. So it's not too bad in the beginning. Progress report. There are seven of us now, and our little chunk of Snoqualmie is starting to be downright livable. It's almost big enough that we're going to need a proper government to run things soon. Proper government, okay. So let's see, we have a builder here. Um, I'm going to actually send him... See, can he kill that? Yeah, I'm going to have him clear that area. And I really need to scout. I think we'll scout this direction. Because there's, there's trees right here. And this means it's like a border to the town. It's a lot easier to defend on one front than it is all around your area. So I'm going to try to take some of these buildings and at least uh, find out where the border is. Because that seems to help a lot. Oh, policy. Rations. It's funny. I never really cared about food before the war. Sure, I'd eat when I was hungry, but it just seems like a necessity to living. These days, I fantasize for hours about chocolate bars of roast beef, the kind crusted with herbs and spices, and cook slow for hours until it nearly falls apart on your fork. Uh, we sure make people happy to put together a decent meal once in a while, but I know we have to watch our supplies. How much food should our survivors eat? Considering we only have three food, I think we're going to do decreased rations. Uh, so 1,000 calories a day. Uh, that really sucks, but uh, survivors eat 25% less food per day and happiness decreases, which we can deal with. Uh, if you start to run out of food, that's a big problem, because you start dying. Uh, we need to get... Oh, look, nice. We've got a forest all in this area, which is excellent. 
Um, we've got another farm here. We've got two farms, it looks like. So we're going to actually have her over here. We're going to have Face uh, defend this. Let's see, what can we forge? We're going to actually have her down here scavenging. She's going to help defend this horde. Uh, he's killing zombies. She's defending this guy. It's hard to uh, defend or kill zombies like that. It's easier to defend it than it is to actually go out there and like kill them. So let's see. Found a baseball bat. Medicine ammunition. Let's actually check our gear real quick. So we have a backpack and a top hat. Oh nice, a baseball bat and a whip. Plus one defense and plus one defense and recreation. So let's check... See if anybody's entirely unhappy. Uh, let's throw the baseball bat on her. And who is my other fighter? Let's have her get the whip. We do have the top hat, I guess we could throw that on someone. I'm sure. Plus one leadership. Okay, so their level, their defense level kind of raised a little bit, so that helps. So let's see if we can move, yeah we can, we can move her out. Let's actually have her scout these areas so we can take these houses and we can protect this front back here from attack. Then all we need to do is start taking this strip, uh, well at least these four, these five rather, so we can actually start farming. Uh, because it's a big farm and it'll give us food per day. So let's see. He's not doing anything. So we can actually have him scout for us, I think. I'm going to have him scout up here as well. Looks like we have a survivor here. We're going to have her kill some zombies. Anyone not doing anything? Nope. Uh, we're going to do balanced ammo use because it seems to help a little bit. Uh, we do have 21 ammo. We do have a workshop, so as soon as we can take this and get an extra survivor or two, uh, we can possibly um, start making ammo. So we need to clear this out first. I should just throw her there for now. Is there anything we can forge or scavenge? Yes, we can scavenge up here. We can also scavenge this soon. What else can we do? We really have nothing for a builder. I mean, I guess we could go ahead and take this building. Might as well, I guess. Uh, we're going to send him over here to help with this clearing because it's yellow. Really need to uh, get rid of these hordes so I can move my guys around. Still did not attack. Wow, what wankers. Materials, ammunition. Materials is always good, always good because that you have to have materials to take new, uh, new blocks. Alright, so she's finished. Let's have her start scavenging this way. Ah, finally. Yellow, we need to get rid of that soon. So we've taken care of that. Hey, so we've got a visitor, one with a nasty looking scar and a nastier looking wolf dog are at the gates. Says she and her dog are just looking for a place to bed down for the night before they continue on. She's got a steady cold gaze that tells me she's seen some things out there and may have lost some love for humanity along the way. Uh, let's actually feed her dinner and invite her to stay. Over the dinner, uh, the traveler shared stories of the world to the south. It doesn't sound like they're faring much better down there than we are. A lot of cities were completely leveled in the fighting. She and her dog are headed north in the hopes that colder winters will slow the Zed down. So we lost two food, but we were nice to someone, so that's pretty good. I think we're actually going to end this one here, and I'm just going to do a pause and start another one. Uh, we're going to try to continue on and get this section cleared out uh, so we can at least be safe on this front because it helps a lot when you're trying to advance into the city. We're actually close to moving to the next city but we're probably staying here a little bit just to level up. 
Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.